is what's going to happen. Anybody who claps or outbursts, we have an officer here, we will remove them from the chambers. The gavel was hot tonight at Spokane City Hall. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. The council president calling an end to the meeting after what he deemed excessive noise during public comment. KXY 4's John Hendricks, the only TV reporter in the council chamber tonight. So, John, what happened that caused such an uproar? Nadine, the council was set to discuss a citizen's initiative that would repeal an ordinance passed by the council that prohibits city employees, specifically Spokane police, from questioning immigration status. The gallery was packed with folks both for and against the repeal of this ordinance. 34 people were signed up to speak. Before there was any public testimony on the issue, council president Ben Stuckert warned the crowd not to clap or cheer following any public testimony. After several applause and cell phones going off following the first few people, Stuckert called the meeting, causing an uproar in the chambers. Oh, this is nothing new to me. This is the type of iron-handed, ridiculous actions that our city council has done. I'm going to ask you to be removed. Whether it is Council spend President Pro Tem John Snyder then took over the meeting with the same warning Stockert had issued before he left. Public testimony began again. Those for the repeal say they fear the law passed by the council is a violation of the Constitution and infringes on citizens' rights. They ask why should anyone obey the law if the city government can pick and choose which law to enforce. Those for or against it rather feel every human should be allowed to be in the U.S. and add America is a nation of of immigrants. I applaud the council for making this a sanctuary city. These are not, human beings are not illegal, nor are they aliens. Aliens come from outer space. Human beings are on the planet Earth. You are tying not just the hands of the police, but you're putting the citizens at risk and you're highly violating the higher responsibility you have. I urge you please to pass this tonight. If not, let it go to the voters. Now, the council had two options tonight, to pass the citizen initiative and repeal the policy or send it to the people for signature gathering and then a vote. After more than an hour of public comment, the council voted to send the ordinance to a signature gathering effort to be put on the ballot. The vice chair of the Spokane County GOP said the full weight of the Republican Party will be out to gather those signatures. Reporting in studio tonight, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News. All right.